Okay, dear students, how are you? I hope that all of you are fine. Welcome you all to my class. I am Mohammad Ismail Hussain, Assistant Teacher English Government Jubilee High School, Shrambhans. Today I have come here to uh, introduce you with a great personality. Okay, let's see some picture of that great person personality. Do you know her? I think that many of you are introduced with her. Yes, many of you may know her. So, she is Mother Teresa, isn't it? She is Mother Teresa, great humanitarian. So, just friends, let's see more like pictures of Mother Teresa. Yes, it's a picture of Mother Teresa in her childhood, then you see an adult, another um, picture of Mother Teresa. Uh, when she get aged and it's a, uh, the next picture is of Mother Teresa but uh, it was after her death people are uh, showing their respect and honor to her in her year then in adult when she was aged and when she grew, grew old after her death, a picture of heavenly appearance <coughs> and it's a stage of meditation, isn't it? Okay, dear students, what can you see in this picture? <coughs> yes, meditation is collecting information from the distressed people. You know that meditation was a great humanitarian. She worked for the distressed and sick people of Kolkata, isn't it? Yes. Let's see some more pictures. Yes, here in this picture, Mother Shesha is taking care of a child. Okay, or collecting orphan children from food park. A picture of Mother Shesha you can see. Then what can you see? Yes, there in this picture we can also see that Mother Shesha is taking care of the children, orphan and sick children. This picture, we can also see such picture. Yes, Mother Teresa is taking care of dying destitutes. You can see here, she is feeding the sick people. And today, we will discuss about Mother Teresa. And we find it in Unit 7, Lesson 6. So this trend, what will you learn from this lesson today? I will hope that after this lesson or speaking and telling something about the picture capacity will grow up, will develop. Improve uh, our your writing skill by practicing some text. Okay, dear students. We will read the uh, text about Mother Teresa, but before going to the text, I would like to introduce you with some key words. There's a divine, missionary, destitute, dying, humility, and commitment. Are these uh, words are known to you? Are these words known to you? Think and try to understand this. And some grammar structure we also learn. Uh, in this passage, in this text, we will find a lot, lot of passive sentences. Some sentences we will find they are of passive form. Okay, so carefully, let's notice them all. Dear okay, students, I am going to take you to the text. Before going to the text, let's see uh, some question and try to find out the answer of that question from already. Okay? Uh, our first question is, who is Mother Teresa? And then, how old is she? Next question is, what was her hobby? What is she wearing? Do you want to be a pioneer as Mother Teresa? Is she alive? These are the questions. We have to find out, this, uh, find out the answer of this question. Okay, dear students, now we are going to present the text. Let's see. 
I'm going to read out the text and you will find you will also find the text in your textbook. You can read this yourself. You can read from this screen as well. It was autumn, August 26, 1910. A little girl was born to an Albanian builder, a rich Catholic merchant's family in a small town called Skopje, Macedonia. She was the youngest of the three siblings and was named Agnes, Agnes Gonza Buzaziu, who had uh, who had known this, who had known that this tiny little girl would one day become the servant of humanity. Love and serve the poorest of the poor and become the mother of humanity. Yes, we are talking about none other than Mother Teresa. And the picture of Mother Teresa here, the text is there. At the age of 12, she heard a voice from with her, uh, from with her dad asked her to spread the love of Christ. She decided that she would be a missionary. At the age of 18, she left her paternal home. She then joined as an Irish community of nuns called the Sister of Loreto, which had missions in India. Mother Tisha is taking the prestigious product, the Nobel Prize. Now the picture of Mother Tisha, Mother Tisha with smiling face, you can see. Then about uh, text about Mother Tisha, Mother Tisha work has been Mother Teresa's work had been recognized throughout the world. Yes, she received a number of awards. This includes the Pope John's 23rd Pitch Prize in 1971, the Nehru Prize in 1972, the Balzon Prize in 1978, the Nobel Prize in 1979, and the Bharat Ratno in 1980. Then, the Mother Teresa is no more in the world. Okay? So, Mother Teresa died at the age of 87 on 5th November 1997. The world salutes her for her love and compassion for the she has taught us how to extend our hand towards those who need our love and support irrespective of creeds, caste and religion. Departed in, uh, draped in a white and blue bordered shari, wrinkled face, ever soft eyes and a saintly smile is the picture of Mother Desha in our mind. Mother Desha is questioning to the humanity okay. regarding commitment to family. Mother Desha said, maybe in our own family we have somebody who is feeling lonely, who is feeling sick, who is feeling worried. Are we there? Are we willing to give until it hurts in, in order to be with our own families? Or do we put our interests first? We must remember that love begins at home. And we must also remember that futures of humanity passes through the family. Okay, dear students. Till now, we heard about many information of, about Mother Teresa. Okay, can we recall the information here? I have given her some events as well as some dates. We should try to recall the events according to the dates or dates according to the event. Okay, in first 
uh, line, you can see in first column you can see 1997, then it gave, then 1979. Okay, what happened in 1977? Can you remember? Try to recall this and then let's see what was even given here. She took her initial bows as none. When she took her initial bows as none. Try to recall this and you have to put the date or the year in first column. Okay. Then what happened in 1979 in, Mother, uh, in the life of Mother Teresa? Can you remember? Another event given here, Mother Teresa was born. When? Yes, just today. I am giving you the answer. You can, uh, I think that you can remember or recall. If you could not recall, you can also go to the text and try to match this. I am giving the answer for that. Yes, in, 1970, um, in 1997, Mother Teresa died. And in 1920, she took her initiative both as now. When she took her both as now? In 1928. Yes, at the age of her? 18. Okay. In 1979, she won the Nobel Prize. What event? Yes, she won the Nobel Prize. And in 1910, Mother was born. Mother was born in 1910. 110. Dear students, we saw some voice, um, passive voice, some sentences of passive voice in the text. So, as a grammar item, I would like to give you a light, a soft, a short introduction about this, um, so that we can, we can learn how the passive voice is formed. Okay, we know that sentences are of two types active voice and passive voice. The uh, first sentence is given of active voice, the sick people shocked Mother Teresa. Um, this is a sentence of active voice and we, if we turn it into passive voice, then what happened? Yes, Mother Teresa was shocked by the sick people. Mother Teresa was shocked by the sick people. Then let's see what's the difference between these two um, between these two sentences. Here the sick people is the subject, then Mother she is subject. But in the passive voice, Mother she is subject. And then a vibhar uh, has been given here, um, has been given here as an auxiliary verb. Yes, then we find that shocked, the first participle form. Okay. Then by, additional by is given here, then the subject as the object is set it here. So dear student, we see that when we uh, want to turn a sentence into passive, then we use subject first. That's when the object of the active voice turn, um, come here as a subject. Then the auxiliary verb, that's when uh, b verb, extra b verb is given here. Then the first participle form of the main verb. Then by as preposition. And plus object. The subject is used in the active voice turn into object here. Okay, dear students, this is the thing. And if we can uh, practice in this way, we can learn changing voice. I think that you will find some passive uh, some sentence of passive voice in the text, and you will find out this yourself. Okay, and then it will be a good practice for you. Okay, dear students. There we can see some more pictures and some speeches of Mother Teresa. In the first pictures, uh, Mother Teresa says this, even the rich are hungry for love, for being cared, for, uh, for being worried, for being having someone to call their own. Okay? And in the second picture, we can also see a speech of Mother Teresa. It is easy to love the people far away. It is not always easy to love those close to us. Being loved into your home for this is, for this is where our love for each other must turn out. Okay? We wish Mother Teresa will 
alive in our heart for you. Okay, dear students, I don't like to make my class more longer. I'm giving you a homework for you. Write 10 sentences, only 10 sentences about mother's and volunteers. Can't you? I think that it will be easy for you. And stay fine, stay safe, take care of yourself, take care of your families, take care of the people never in you. Bye.